Hello, hello, Mike German here from Visual Animations. Welcome to Sunday, welcome to day six of Fun in Four. How are we getting on? Oh, oh, we've been okay since the 1st of March. Have you done the last five techniques? It'd be great to see more and more comments of what you're doing, what you'd like to see me do. Um, it, hopefully it will be in the 31 days of this month, one of the techniques, so hopefully. Anyway, today, Sunday, got a good one, quite special may go over four minutes let me show you and let's see if we can do it in time so what do you think we've got this great ripping like almost like a, like an extreme face peel really isn't it <laughs> you can just imagine having a having a having a face inside there and then all of this kind of i don't know skin or whatever you want to call it it's just being ripped off really good effect you can use this on so many objects you know i've just used a head which i can i can think i can put a, um, a link to this down there so you've got this to work with um you can use it on anything really anything that we where you want to peel and and pull this material off so we're going to attempt to do this in four minutes from the point where i start doing it in cinema 4d we're not counting this intro okay so let's um let's see how we get on so i'm going to start Obviously, I'm not going to model the head. This is one that I'm going to um, give to you and that you can um, work with. So the first thing we do is we uh, we zoom in on the one of the eyes um, to here and then we press U L on the keyboard. Make sure we're in point mode here and make sure the head's selected. And then you want to you want to uh, hold shift on the keyboard and we want to select the first five lines and then zoom out come across to the second eye and then do the same thing. Hold, make sure you don't select any of this background, just, just these bits here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. All right, once they're selected, we go up to select and we uh, click on store selection. Okay, that makes us a little selection tag here. Uh, while it's all selected, we go back to select and we click on set vertex weight. Now make sure that says 100%. Uh, if it doesn't, make sure you put in 100% here and then say OK. It now goes red with this yellow line. Now, once we've got that, we click on Basic just here and we click on Use Fields. We then go back to Fields and then we click on Freeze, which has been added. Down here on Mode, we go to Grow and then Radius, we go 0.5 and then Effect Strength, we go 10. And I'll just show you quickly what that does. So this is the effect we want. We want something to have this growing effect starting from one point and then growing across the head. Okay, so that's exactly what we need it to do. Now we click on head and we right click and we add a simulation tag of cloth. Okay, when cloth is selected, we drag that vertex map here on the map part under stiffness. Okay. And then we go to the bottom and click use tear because it's going to tear this and it's it's the vertex map is controlling the stiffness of this material so they go in there we then go to forces the forces tab and then we zero out the gravity and then we put a minus one in the in the z wind direction and then a wind strength of 10. okay now we've got that we go and what we do yeah I'm just trying to think of the order, the best way. Right, so we grab a we grab us a, a cube, and then we make that twenty by twenty by twenty. What we're doing here is we we have to create a point in the head uh, that we're going to put something on called a cloth belt, and it's going to hold this material back and let it let it flow off like you saw in the in the video demonstration. So I'll show you how you do that now. So we've got cube, we make it editable, we go into the four view mode. Uh, we go to object mode and the pointer and then we drag using these four uh, different views we drag the cube so it's inside the top of the head okay so then we come back out and we just let's just call that belt because this we're going to use that as the the belt um, right so now we need to we need to click on this vertex map and we need to press control and drag and create another one and this one we want to go to basic and we want to call this one invert because we need an inverted vertex map 
that the cloth belt is going to attach to and it's going to release the material in that way okay so you need to invert it we then go to fields we then add an invert tag here and then if we go back to freeze we need to make sure that subfields only is checked okay uh, now we've got that selected we go on to head we right click we go back to simulation tags and we add a cloth belt we click on head there's a lot of steps I'm sorry about this um, we then click on the point mode and then we click control and a to select all the points on the head and now under cloth sorry under the belt the cloth belt where it says belt on we need to drop the belt into there and because this head has all been selected like this if we click select sorry if we click set we will get all of these yellow threads which are effectively going up and attaching to that um, that square or that little cube we've just made and then this influence map here is where we put the vertex map invert the one we just created okay so we've got the belt in there and that's been set so the lines appear if you want to turn the lines off just click on this uh, unchecked draw so you don't see them all um, make sure vertex map invert is in there okay now we can click off of this and we need to add under create we need to go to generator and get a cloth surface and we need to put the head in the cloth surface click on cloth surface take out the subdivisions because it slows it down for this demo you might want to increase them at some point but just take those out now I think that might be it let me just see if we've done everything correctly there we go so if you do all the steps ah, one last thing um, the cloth belt piece there that little square if you just hide that from from the view and the render because when it renders you don't want to see that square okay so if we just rewind back you'll see that it starts to pull in that Z minus Z um, wind direction and it's releasing it slowly because of the cloth belt is holding this on that um, on that belt square it all sounds confusing but if you follow these steps exactly how I've just shown you you'll get this effect and you can apply this to any object have some having this kind of peeling off and ripping and everything else really nice effect so hope that was uh hope that was a good one for sunday um i will see you tomorrow monday at 4 p.m again for another fun in four uh, cinema 4d technique my name is mike german from visual animations take care goodbye for now